All right, this one's gonna be on Radio Misa. It's a little script I wrote to uh, play radio using just MPV and FCF. So uh, let's search for Misa here. And you play it, just select a station. So let's say we do, um, let's do some sports talk just because I don't wanna get copyright for music or anything like that. And we'll wait for a couple of seconds and it'll play in the background using MPV. A lot of, not a lot of nonsense, not a lot of this, a lot of that. Russell is all in on winning football. So you can see it's playing uh, the background there. And um, how would you control this? You know, like um, MPV, you know, if it's a uh, video or something, you can control it using uh, the interface. But um, if you want to play, uh, you know, control it, even in the background, you use this program called, um, well, you have to install this one. It's called MPV Impress. And um, basically, it's a way to control other uh, was that programs that has audio in it. So you can do like you know MPD, CMOS, uh, your web browser, stuff like that. But for this purpose, uh, we're gonna use it with uh, MPV. And uh, the bindings for this, let me see here. So you can do like a player CTL. You know, uh, let's say for example, in this, in our case, we're gonna do uh, stop here, right? And that will end the uh, program or the MPV instance in the background if it's currently playing. So that's how you control it. Either you can bind this with the hotkey. So uh, for example, if I was gonna bind this, maybe like Shift F4 or something like that, right? Now, as far as the imprint stuff, um, you know, you can do like volume up, volume down, stop, next, play, pause, and stuff like that. It actually does not have a mute toggle. So you actually have to use your, um, whatever your system default is to do toggle. So if you're using like Pulse Audio, you do like a Pulse Audio, use Pipewire, you know, you'll have to find the command to, you know, toggle mute if you want to do that. But anyways, that's how you would bind a high key if you like. Or you can actually run this from a script. So I'll show you that too. So I'll turn it on here. Um, let's go over here. Let's see. Um, play the audio again story cool kid great story Geno smith redemption great story they're not great quarterbacks but russell wilson was a great quarterback in seattle and you see i can stop it from uh that just using a script also and so that's how that works you know if you want to do it from a high key or a what is my high key for this uh let's see player ctl Okay, that one's the one. Okay. So yeah, I use the, the media keys and controls. So I can do like stop here, right? So for example, if I do that again here. Radio Misa, play, we we'll do a little sports talk. And uh, we'll wait for it to uh, connect again here in a couple seconds. He wasn't in his first team in the NFL. And now suddenly Gino's good and Russell's terrible. So you can see he's playing in the background, and if I want to quit it, I just hit a hockey now instead of using the script that we did before. That deserves a lot of credit for this too. So there you go. With the hockey, you can do that same thing, uh, or from the script, like I said, um, player CTL, right? And you can find out um, whatever is active. Um, so that's pretty much it for the program, really. So if you want to add like your own um, stations, oh, that's not the right one. Let's see here, radio. You can go edit here and then you just add in your stream. It's not that hard here, right? You just do, uh, let's say for example, this one here, uh, this is the name of the station and it uses a comma separated values. So you have a comma and then your stream, whatever stream it is, like uh, whatever link that um, W, not W, uh, MPV supports. So it'd be like PLS m3us or even like sometimes it's a straight link that uh, mpv will detect and um you know you can put that in here pretty simple to use i use the same format as um what was that uh py radio so if you have your py radio station um csv file it'll detect that you have that and it will just use the existing one 
uh, or if you don't have it, it's going to create a folder called Radio Misa here, and it's going to download the um, the PY Radio like uh, example ones that I think still works, right? Anyways, it'll generate one for you if you don't have one already. So that's the default behavior. Anything else in here? Oh, is that uh, for for like radio stuff? Uh, I wanted to have like, you know, traditional radio, like FM, AM and stuff like that. So that's why I have like all these FM stuff. Like uh, I usually listen to the wave 94, seven or, uh, you know, power 106, which I'm not sure why it's called power 105.9 now. <laughs> Was that always the case where I have a bad memory? Cause I know it's power 106 cause I used to listen to that. But you know, they have like, you know, all the um, traditional stations uh well it depends on your area i guess you know like uh, i'm in uh, california here and they have these stations uh, for a long time now now if you want to get it for your area um like if you want to listen to your uh, radio in your area you can always bust out like some of these sites here that will list um you know based on your zip code it'll uh, list out like all your um what was that one you know your station is near your area so if you're in the east coast you know the midwest whatever it is um you know look up your zip code and they should have it and then basically you want to go to their site uh their official site they usually have like an ip stream or something like that now they're not going to give you like the you know the url to the stream so you actually have to like dig <laughs> through the network for that stream i'm giving you an example what i'm talking about here so for example, I think I have to mute this because it might have um, copyright too. Yeah, I'll mute that. So let's say for example, this um, site here, right? So, <clears throat> you know, they usually have like a play button or something like that, I'll give you an example, right? They have a play button here, right? And also a play button here. It depends on the page, you know, whatever they have. But what you want to do is um, on your web browser, uh, I think it should work on Firefox or any like Chromium, you know, based web browser. You have, to, you know, go to inspect here, right? And uh, they'll have like this network um, whole, you know, tab here. And basically what you want to do is uh, hit play, any other thing on uh, the page that has play. And then when you start playing, they should have like a list of, you know, whatever it's connecting to. Basically, what you want to do is try to get the uh, URL of that place. And sometimes it can be tricky, but it's usually, I'll give you an example here. I believe this is the one. Ping join. Maybe see this one. Yeah, I think maybe this is the one. So, but copy that. Copy the link address. Is there anything else in there? No, I think that's about it. So that's it. So that's all you gotta do. And now you can test it. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we can do we can test using MPV. And um, let's play it here. See if it works. So that one's not the right one. So what you wanna do is go back here. Where's the other one? I think this might be the one here. Um, what was that one? No, let's play it again here. Where is it? How's that different from that one? Let's see, where is it at? Okay, there you go. That's, I think this is the one. Copy address, and we'll do MPV. Put that in quotes here, or single quotes. And here's the uh, M3U8 here. And basically, when you connect it now, uh, they'll give you the link. And you see it's working right here, right? Although I don't want to play um, the music because I'm going to copyright. But you can see it's playing. And now that you have the link, um, all you got to do is you know copy this again right 
copy copy the link and then you bust out um was a radio misa and then you do edit and basically in here we can call it like uh, uh the wave testing and then comma and then you paste in that uh link here and that's it now whenever you need to uh you know listen to that radio all you gotta do is bust out this thing again and now you do play and then you do the wave and we have our you know the wave testing here right but anyways that's how i do it like uh for uh am fm because i want to listen to um the radio that uh you know i used to listen to the radio like the old school one but um i didn't want to have a device you know when i'm on my computer i just want to use over ip i don't want to use that traditional radio devices to do that uh so now i have am fm um for all the local channels around uh, my area and that's pretty much how i would handle um you know radio nowadays just using fcf and um mpv and you can add you know really quick like i said uh like i said some sites you would have to do like this type of manual work here where you have to dig for um the url but you know it's fairly easy if you have a web browser and um you, you only have to do it once i don't think they will change it depending on the site uh, they usually don't change the uh link that often so anywho that is the script uh you can use it in if you use it in tmux uh you can use my script called uh fcf speed and this will bust out like a list of you know um scripts that you can launch if you're using like on a um, desktop kind of thing and you want to do like a d menu or rofi um, replacement you can use fcf nova and we can still do the same thing right um so that's that or if you want to use it like in pure um you know terminal mode um i have a script called uh what's that radio misa here and we'll run it like that all right and it'll pop up the same type of menu because it's just a shell script really um so that's it for the program and uh you know like i said if you want to map your hotkeys do i already have that open i think i do yeah i have it open here okay so if you want to map your hotkeys make sure you have uh mpv impress installed and you do a uh, player ctl um you know whatever desktop environment you use they have like a hockey binding feature anyways that's it for uh radio misa uh I'll, I'll include that into my fcf speed and fcf nova repositories so check the link in the description if you want to watch it uh if you want to get it also that'll be it for this one